Started from a DM, now she wanna see him. If you wanna link, baby, gotta be the weekend. Just follow me. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another creative sim video It's actually quite similar to my last one But the last one I did I actually did with my cousin which is about a month ago Which is experiencing the sims 4 story mode in creative sim which they gave us in the last update Yeah, cuz we getting ready to get some get a new one because realm of magic is like a week away from coming out Which I'm so excited for um, so if you are looking forward to that, please go ahead and hit that like, hit that like button because you know you're ready for the Realm of Magic and hit that like button just because you're ready for this video that I'm going to go through and see what these questions give me. And also I have some new custom content I downloaded recently, so I'm going to test it out on my sim depending on what I get by answering these questions. So here we go. Hi, would you like to create my story? We'll start with a fun personality quiz. Afterwards, you can customize my appearance. So of course you're gonna hit okay. And if you don't wanna do this, so if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Mickey. I didn't do all of that, just went right into it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but this is the story mode that you can answer a few about, I think it's about 10 questions and it will give your sim their traits, their aspiration, and might change out their starting funds and all that good stuff. If you don't want to, just hit no thanks and you can go into the normal creative sim. But of course I'm gonna hit okay. So let's start with an easy question. What age am I? Of course, young adult. I hardly ever create any other age group in Creative Sim. I don't think, no, I don't think I've ever created anything but a young adult in Creative Sim. No, not true. I did a toddler to an adult challenge, but I still mainly create the adult, but we're not gonna go there. Young adult. Um, when expressing myself artistically, I prefer to create something visual, practice music, create functions over form. Hmm. Uh, create something visual. I like that. Okay, I was about to say, did we lock something in already? <laughs> Meditation is an excellent way, to, excellent way to relax. Best done in Asada. I'm too caffeinated for this. <laughs> I do like my caffeine, but it is an excellent way to relax. Best way for me to relax is a good massage, TV and junk food, reading a book. Ah, oh, I, I feel you. Now we getting somewhere. Oh, did we lock in our aspiration already? Jeez, that was quick. Um, To be honest, I've never had a massage. So I couldn't even... I mean, I know it's probably a good way to relax, but I never had one. So for me... TV and some junk food. Watch my K-dramas, give me some food. I'm good to go. What approach do I take to my job? It's a means to an end. Success is important to me. I trust my awesomeness. Oh, I like that last one though. I trust my awesomeness. To be honest, my current job is definitely a means to an end. I need to pay my bills, so I need to work. <laughs> um, success is definitely important, but I don't feel like it's all there is to it. I feel like if you're happy in your job, then that's a success. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna trust in my awesomeness. Oh, oh, oh. yes, and not her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the best stories have happy endings, have unexpected plot twists, are written by me. Um, I would say unexpected plot twists because good stories don't always have happy endings. Uh, oh. The best part, the best part of bowling with friends is strike bowling team shirts, the bowl of chips. Uh, no. Definitely a strike. <laughs> How do I get co-workers to listen to me? Excite them with grand ideas, tell them jokes, threaten to fire them. Um, I have one co-worker I do that to, but they do that back to me, and it's kind of a running joke between us, so it's not really something I would do. I mean, if I'm the boss? That's not even the best way either, because if you're the boss, threatening someone is definitely not a good way to get them to listen to you. Um... Tell them jokes. I'm not really a tell jokes type of person. People say I'm funny, but I wouldn't say I like I'm a like not 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 type jokes to you or whatever. Um, I guess excite them with grand ideas. Um, what do I do to cheer myself up? Go for a jog. Definitely not. <laughs> Be mean to others. Oh no. Spend time with family. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes depending on my mood, because sometimes I just need to be by myself to cheer myself up. Um, but yeah, spend time with family. Go for a jog, because no, not me. Sis does not like to run, so no. Ooh, I get axed out on a date. Oh, that doesn't happen. Forever alone. 
What's my response? Go out. It could be fun. Ask who else they like. Politely decline. First of all, if they're asking you out on a date, why are you asking them who else they like? They clearly like you. Hopefully, it's only you and they not having no, you not becoming a side piece or something. But anyway, that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> Go out. It could be fun, of course. Uh, the fridge wow. is broken. What do I do? Fix it myself. Call the repair service. Buy a new one. Call a repair service. Ooh, service. Can't speak. More likely call my dad. Daddy, <laughs> call the repair service. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You came out as a male, but I tend to make more female sense, so we're going to turn you into a female. Ooh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Feel free to sign my gender, adjust my appearance, and select my clothes. And don't forget to give me a name. Well, hit that okay. Okay, so we have... Big happy family aspiration. This sim wants to build a large loving household. Assign, okay. Assign my creative story, okay. Then we got the domestic extra trait. Romantic, these sims tend to be flirty and may become sad if they don't have any romantic social interactions for a period of time. Um, family oriented, these sims become happy around family members, become sad if they don't interact with family for a period of time and can boast about family. Self-assured, these sims tend to be confident. Okay, I made a pretty decent. Oh, we got standard starting funds, boo. Uh, the career is a painter. Okay, you got a skill in bowling and a skill in painting. Okay, excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and change up that gender real quick. There we go. And I'm going to edit up this sim. Hopefully, I can test out some new CC. I'm going to speed through this, and I will meet you guys on the other side.
Alright guys, so here we are in game with our lovely new sim that we created with story mode, Miss Carrie Strickland. Um, you probably noticed I had a bit of trouble because I was trying to, <coughs> excuse me, stick to the more recent custom content that I have downloaded because I want to actually give you guys the link to these so that if you do download her, because I will be putting Miss Carrie up on the gallery at my channel name X, Vina Freda Shay X. So that you guys can download her with all her lovely skills as you can see she's already a hungry artist which is level three in the painter's career i have her working on that already right now a little bit of her everyday task that she needs to complete um i moved her into one of the basic starter homes in um willow creek because she only started off with the basic funds which is twenty thousand simoleons so let's see what other skills she's got she's oh level three in bowling no, but this is a brand new save, so I didn't. I don't have any bowling alleys plays down. But that would have been nice. Okay, we got a decent, pretty sim over here. But I mean, she's got traits that I probably normally would have picked. I want to try to get a sim in story mode that I wouldn't normally create and pick some random traits that I normally wouldn't pick. But guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this today. I'm recording this. I believe it's the fifth anniversary of the release of the Sims. Four. and we have a maxis monthly going live today to give us i think a little bit d deeper delve into realm of magic which i am about to go check out um this video probably posted the day after because i want to make sure i have all the links for all the custom content because i've used skin makeup hair accessories and clothing so guys if you did enjoy this lovely addition to my creative sim playlist and you haven't checked out my other ones please go ahead and do Ooh, let's see what painting she created Ooh, pretty nice. Okay, she's about to go watch some TV. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this part. We got a lovely Sim with some basic skills to kind of start her off with and to create her own family. It looks like she's going to have a, an artistic family that loves to bowl. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this lovely creative Sim, please go ahead and leave your comments and suggestions down below. Hit that like button because you know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. Don't forget to check out the rest of my other creative sims and other content that I have on my channel if you are new. And if not, go ahead and continue to explore Sis's channel because I have a lot of videos. <laughs> and guys, if you are new to my channel, please look forward. If not, either way, period. Look forward to my Realm of Magic LP that will be coming out when Realm of Magic is released. And check out my other P LPs that I have on my channel. My Island Living Let's Play, which I feel like I'll be winding that off soon because... The aspiration for that expansion pack was very easily to complete. Um, I also have a the Michaels Rewind and I'm a Lover's Challenge Generation 3, which I'm focusing on as well. So guys, please go ahead and check all of those out. And until next time, guys, bye.